All right, so this is the first creative disclosure that I'm going to do here on this channel. And one of the reasons, just to give context, that I thought this creative disc disclosure would be helpful was I think it's very important, and this is just for me, it's very important for me to reflect on success, failures, experiences, just the entire journey. And so one of the things that I'm reflecting on and I've been reflecting on over the past week in my walk with God, in my creative aspirations and music and doing YouTube, so on and so forth is don't wear yourself thin. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. A lot of times I think we as creatives, we as Christians, we as people of faith, wherever walk of life you are in, we wear ourselves thin. We allow ourselves to do so much and then we don't actually get what we wanted out of it. And so where this concept comes from is me reflecting on a lot of our efforts. Sometimes people have the false conception that if they're doing something, then it's good. So like if I'm going to church, I'm doing the right thing. Or if I'm going to college, if I'm going to school, if I'm doing X, Y, and Z, if I'm um, doing something, then that's good. But a lot of times what ends up happening is we put our efforts in all the wrong areas. And from a creative standpoint, we do this a lot with music. So sometimes we'll put all of our efforts into, okay, I got to get the numbers. I got to get so-and-so amount of followers on this. I got to get X amount of streams. I got to do this. And when that's our end goal, when our end goal is to get X amount of streams or is to get X amount of followers off of this or whatever response that we want, as far as the vanity metrics are concerned, we end up not even getting close to the result that we want and we get discouraged. So for example, sometimes people are just so thirsty to get a song to be successful that they're looking for ways to spend money. They'll spend hundreds of dollars on fake playlisting just to get the numbers up and doing all of these reckless things and then losing their Spotify account <laughs> and losing all of, you know, getting caught on it and just ending up sabotaging themselves. And those efforts end up being discouragement. So what I'm sharing is you don't want to wear yourself thin when it comes to music. You don't want to wear yourself thin when it comes to whatever creative avenue that you're working in. You want to make sure that all your efforts are all going to go a long way. Like, for example, me doing this live stream is I did not want to do a live stream. I just wanted to record this, edit the video and put it up. But the problem with that is if I, I can make this video polished, I can take the time to cut out certain parts I don't like. I can do so on and so forth. But the issue with that is I wear myself thin because I have to spend extra time editing. I have to spend extra time uploading. Whereas if I can go live, I can just chop this up into different segments. And that was something that I learned through my mentor, Ruslan, who's been a big help. But I just share that to say, we got to be careful not to wear ourselves thin. And specifically what I'm focusing on is us wearing ourselves thin with things that don't really matter. A lot of times we waste time on things that we can't even control. And so think about your circle of influence when you are thinking about what you should be doing. So like the example I gave, you feel like, you know, going um, because you're going to church that you're doing something. Well, don't just look at it as attending church, because if it's about attending, then that's something that can easily be impacted. For example, with the coronavirus, COVID. Now it's much more of a challenge to be in church, like in-person churches. Not all churches are having in-person services as a result, or if they are, it's at a reduced capacity. It's not what we typically would imagine with it. But finding something tangible that you can do, that you can offer to add value and putting that in the right places, those efforts in the right places will go a long way. For example, when I first joined the church that I'm a part of now, there was a need for services. People wanted to be able to watch services because sometimes the message either, well, at this time it wasn't because people were going to miss church and they wanted to be able to see it. But it was mainly because people were enjoying the messages so much. They were like, man, I wish this could have been recorded. And then we had some elders that weren't able to make it to the services anymore and we wanted a way to reach them. And so what we started doing was I had a volunteer to do video. Now, mind you, I had never done video before. And there were other things that I could do in the ministry, but that was a specific need. And I saw that that was a need. And so what ended up happening was we got the equipment. 
and we set up and we started recording things and that ended up being a huge blessing. But little did I know, I would never have guessed me doing recording in a church would have led to me putting being put in a situation where I can do videos now. But I say that to say a lot of times we think we get ourselves in stuff that we don't have no purpose doing. Like there's no purpose that we find out of. And so we end up wasting time. One example of that for me was excessive video gaming. Like I love video games. Every time I see a new game out or I see a game I want, I'm just so tempted. I'm like, man, I got to have this game. But then I realized like I don't really have the time because I'm doing music. Like I used to get all the latest 2Ks and I had 2K20, NBA 2K20. But I was like, nah, bro, I can't grab. I can't grab 2K21 because I'm not going to play it realistically. And that's what it came to for me was that a lot of the things that I was wasting my time on weren't really fruitful. And I end up wearing myself thin. I'm trying to do way too much. And that's the final point that I want to leave you with, with this creative disclosure. When you're trying to figure out what you need to be doing, really boil it down to a system. Get you a system. And that's what I'm currently doing is trying to find systems for every single thing that I do. Everything that I do within the church that I'm a part of, my music, production, my marriage, everything. I'm trying to build a system for me to be as effective as I can. And I'm not that, I haven't been that successful in every area, but in the areas where I have a strong system in, guess what? It became a non-negotiable for me in a lot of areas because I have a system that ensures that I'll be able to have a sustained effort in it. So for YouTube, we have another channel um, called Talks Against the Grain with my brother Jefton, and we created a system of how we want to do it. We scheduled the day that we're going to, uh, we, at first we did it like, in the afternoon, we tried to do it, but we were like, that wasn't a great time because we got, you know, he has a family. I got family. We got stuff to do in the afternoon on Saturday and you want to chill with your family. So what we did was we made the decision to get up early on Saturday, meet up at eight o'clock, do the podcast. And then next thing you know, about an hour, hour and a half, we're done and we can go on and our family is waking up and we can eat breakfast with our family and it's, it's over with. We recorded it. And then we post the videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, promote throughout the week. Very simple. We div divvied up the tasks. He edits the video. He gets it up and schedules it. I help set up the original stream. I do the OBS recording and I get him the recording. We make the thumbnails together. Simple. And I say all of this to say this, when we were first talking about it, we were discouraged. We were starting to get discouraged because as the more we started talking about things, it was like, man, you got to buy this, got to do this, got to do that. And we were struggling to come up with a system. But the moment we got a system, it's just a part of our lives now. Just like going to church or doing X, Y, and Z. It's become normal for us. So build out those systems, whatever you're doing, build a system that will help you to be disciplined and to make sure that all of your efforts are put in the right places. If you're wrapping producing, build up a template in your in your DAO to where you can just go in there. All of the plugins are loaded up. All of the equalizers, everything that you need is there. And all you have to do is drop a beat in there, get your mic ready and record. And it already has all the effects you need. So you don't have to spend all the time re-adding everything. Get yourself a template that already preloads all of these things. And when you start to build up these systems, if you're a producer getting your kicks in there, your favorite kicks, favorite snares in there, and then just going through it, what's going to happen is the thing that may have taken you an hour may have been cut in half to 30 minutes now. It might have taken, you might have wasted about 15 minutes just getting your project set up. Now you're only loading it up and it's there and that's 15 minutes you get back. The whole point of this, and the Bible talks about redeeming the time for the days are evil. We have to redeem our time and we can't wear ourselves thin with trying to maintain things that really don't matter. So I hope this has been helpful. This is the creative disclosure for this day. I plan to do many more. And this is just a lesson that I've learned is how to be more refined with what I'm doing. So you all take it easy. This has been dope. I hope this has been fruitful. I hope it's been helpful. And man, I'm excited to do some more. So y'all take it easy.